Hey guys, it's uh, Chris Singh here back from CNH Small Engine. I'm making a uh, quick video here about uh, one of the lawn boys I had uh, dropped off here uh, last week. Uh, it's a uh, lawn boy from the mid 80s. Uh, it's in it's, it's in generally overall good uh, shape. The deck is in uh, great shape, stuff like that. Uh, the one uh, problem with this machine is the uh, the um, where's it at here? Let me get the flashlight out and show you here exactly what, what the problem with it. Uh, the gas tank on here the gas tank is uh, apparently split you can see right down inside there it's it got a big uh look about one two three inch long crack on the bottom on there and it is uh split all along right there you, you can probably barely make it out right there but that's what it looks like it looks like uh i don't know how it's split but uh the, the guy got the, the guy i got the machine off told me he'd been sitting in his uh garage for about maybe five six seven years since like he was climbing 2005 or something like that he hasn't uh cut his own grass for quite some time and uh overall this machine is in still in great shape the only problem is that gas tank uh is split on there and i looked these things up online here today and uh, these gas tanks uh apparently are no longer available from the manufacturer and uh, because of that uh i was doing some scrounge around on the internet trying to find one of these things and uh the only one I could find one was on, on eBay. They're going for like about 160 bucks, and uh, uh, that's basically uh, unreasonable in, in my uh, opinion right there for it because uh, they should maybe they should maybe cost me 60, 70 bucks. But uh, since this machine's probably about uh, 80, was it maybe 85, 95, 5, 15, it's almost uh, 30 years old here. Uh, next year, I believe, uh, it's not gonna probably not, probably not gonna be cost effective to uh, repair this job because of that. Uh, one issue the, the machine can still be repaired and stuff like that but i just can't repair it in good conscience unless you put a new gas tank on or for it because uh you don't want to try to uh, put some putty underneath there or jb weld or something like that underneath there and have that crack get any bigger than uh, what it is right there for that and uh it's probably not going to be cost effective on the uh, owner's machine to have it repaired even though the machine is in relatively good shape as you see right here it's uh deck's nice and clean there's there's like no um no damage, no uh, abuse done to it at all in there. It's just that uh, gas tank is uh, split on the back side, and uh, I have no idea how something like that would even happen on these machines, especially if it, if, if it has been sit, or it has sat in a guy's uh, garage with uh, nobody using it at all for that. So if anybody ever ran across a uh, issue like something like this, maybe uh, a while back or recently, I mean, try to give, give me some insight into how something like that could have happened because I'm, I'm, I'm basically at my wit's end how a split, a split like that could occur from a machine that doesn't look like it has never been abused ever for this. Uh, you can leave me a comment here on my uh, page and uh, try to give me some insight if you uh, ever seen this problem come up um, come up on a uh, lawn boy before uh in the past whether it be machine is maybe 5 10 15 20 years old because uh like i said before this machine's a uh, mid 80s machine so it's not uh new by any stretch of imagination for that so just leave me a comment on my page if you want to and uh, i really appreciate anybody's insight into why this thing would be splitting on the back side of the gas tank like it did because they got a big split probably about two or three inches long on the rear of the gas tank even though it does not look like anything was actually shoved up underneath there or possibly damage it for that i'll see you guys